the case of the prosecutor versus Ali Muhammad Ali Abd al Rahman continued with the testimonies of 11 prosecution witnesses who testified between the 30th June and the 22nd July 2022 before trial chamber one, comprised of presiding judge Joanna Connor, Judge Rene Alapini Gansu, and Judge Althea Violet Alexis Windsor. Mr. Abd al Rahman the alleged leader of the Janjaweed militia is accused of 31 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity allegedly committed in Darfur, Sudan between August 2003 and at least April 2004. These crimes include directing attacks against a civilian population, murders, pillaging, rape, persecution, torture, cruel treatment and other inhumane acts. The trial chamber granted protective measures to the witnesses, such as the use of a pseudonym, voice and image distortion, as well as conducting parts of the trial in private sessions. The witnesses were first questioned by representatives of the Office of the Prosecutor, Senior Trial Lawyer Julian Nichols, Trial Lawyers Pubudu Sachitanandan, Edward Jeremy, Melissa Sims, Alison Whitford, and Associate Trial Lawyer, Hai Doduk, followed by further questioning from the legal representatives of victims, Natalie von Wistenhausen and Anand Shah, and finally, by Lead Defense Counsel, Cyril Lauchi and Associate Defense Counsel, Ian Edwards. During this evidentiary block, witness P0986 testified about an attack on Kodom by government of Sudan forces and the Janjaweed militia in August 2003. He recalled the moment when Ali Kushayab stepped on his neck. My head was on the ground and the Janjaweed were around me and uh, one of them hit me with the back of the rifle, the Songi. And during that time, a car stopped nearby and a person came out of it and put his foot on my neck and called me a slave. And when that person put their foot on your neck, could you recognize who it was? When this person walked out of the car and came towards me and put his foot on my neck my head turned towards the sky so I managed to see him and then another person came and hit me with the back of the rifle I have scars on my face because of that hit the legal representative of victims questioned witness P0986 about the injuries he sustained during the attack. I also <clears throat> read in your witness statement that you fled to the mountains after you had to leave your home village and you had to stay there for a few weeks. We also know that you had been severely injured did you get any medical treatment during that time? Back then, if you tried to ask for any treatment at the hospital or something like that, you would get arrested. During cross-examination, the defense counsel questioned witness P0986 about the identity of the accused. Mr. Witness, I, I, I put to you that you are wrong when you say that Mr. Ali Muhammad Ali Abdelhaman was the veterinary you saw in Garcila or the Janjaweed leader in Mukjar and Kudum. Mr. Ali Ram, Ali, all the rest of Rahman, is the man you say uh, that is sitting behind the defense um, teams. Is that, according to you, the same person, yes or no? 
Yes, it is the same person. If you want more testimonies corroborating that he is the same person, you would find over 10,000 people in Mukshar and in the area of Wadi Saleh testifying that the person in question is Ali Kushe. During this evidentiary block, 10 other witnesses testified about their experiences during the charged period. They all spoke about the attacks on their villages and the impact those attacks had on their lives. Witness P0726 testified about attacks in his village by government of Sudan forces and the Janjaweed militia. Witness P0877 and witness P0919 testified about the arrest and detention at the Mogja police station and the inhumane conditions of their detention. Witness P0643 testified mostly in private sessions to protect his identity. Witness P0931 testified about the events in Mukja and an incident that happened on the Mukja Gasila Road. The witness say that he was driving in a convoy with some cars carrying detainees. When the convoy reached the creek, they stopped and all the detainees were executed. Yes. I was not able to count the detainees. I only saw vehicles coming, stopping behind me, unloading people and taking them to the creek where they killed them. It, it was the first time in my life to witness an incident like that. I never saw, I had never seen before then people being killed in front of me. And at that point, I could no longer watch that. Witness P0931 confirmed that he saw Mr. Ali Kusheb at the creek where the detainees were killed. But it's possible, isn't it, that you're mistaken when you say you saw Ali Kusheb at that scene of the shooting? No, that is not correct. I saw him with my own eyes. He was in front of me. I saw him when they killed the people. Further witnesses also testified during this period. Witness P0955 testified mostly in private sessions. Witness P0932 testified about Mr. Abd al-Rahman's identity, physical description, and the link to the nickname Ali Kushayab. Witness P0581 testified about an attack on Mugja by the government of Sudan forces and the Janjaweed militia in 2003 and 2004. Witness P0984 testified about government of Sudan forces and the Janjaweed militia targeting displaced far individuals from other villages in Mugja because they considered them to be rebels. Witness P0877 also testified about the bodies he saw after being released from Mokja police station after his detention. Mr. Witness, do you recognize this location? Yes. Yes, I know. This is uh, number one, location number one. M meaning location number one that you just mentioned a few minutes ago, is that correct? Yes. Number one in, in which these people were killed, yes. Can you just remind us which bodies you discovered in location one? The dead bodies we found here, 
Dr. Umda Yahya Ahmad Zarruq, and that of Umda Adam Hussein Abdel Mahmoud, and that of Ibrahim Muhammad Ali Bulot, and that of uh, Adam Nahid Nu'man, and Yusuf Muhajir, and other persons, of course. I'll just reconfirm then, um, if I may, uh, the fact that the 25th of August is, in fact, the first sitting day. The trial in the case of the prosecutor versus Ali Muhammad Ali Abd al-Rahman will continue after the summer recess on the 25th of July 2022 with the testimonies of new witnesses called by the Office of the Prosecutor.